Hey guys, and welcome back to Morrowind. In last episode, we took and completed Solmatol's Warrior's Test, and then he revealed the third trial to us, in which we must find the Cavern of the Incarnate. And to do so, we must solve a riddle. The eye of the needle lies in the teeth of the wind. The mouth of the cave lies in the skin of the pearl. The dream is the door, and the star is the key. He called this riddle the Wisdom's Test, and we are supposed to talk to the other Ashlanders, see what we can figure out, and try to find this cavern. But before we get into that, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to the recent support on this channel. A few days ago, whenever I'm recording this, I uploaded a Skyrim mod video and it, it kind of got a little crazy. I'm honestly really overwhelmed, but really thankful. Like you guys have no idea like how much this means to me. But yeah, in like a few days, we've gone from like 200 subscribers to like over 600 now. I don't even know where we're going to be at by the time I upload this, but yes, thank you guys so so much and welcome everyone to the channel and thank you of course to everyone that has been around for even longer than that. But anyways, oh gosh, <laughs> I have loaded in onto a stool. I thought I was just very tall. I am going to admit real quick that I did record this episode a couple of weeks ago whenever I did like a huge recording spree and for some reason about a third of the way through my microphone was just like I'm out of here like bye I'm having none of this tonight so yeah I am having to re-record this so I do generally know where the cavern is but we will still talk to the Ashlanders but I'll probably just give you a brief summary of what they say because I don't like it when videos are dialogue heavy in the very beginning I don't know something's already attacking us wow Oh, this guy's listening to us. Thanks, Shebinabale. I guess we'll go ahead and just talk to him about everything. So basically, we need to know about the Eye of the Needle, which he describes as a tall rock column in the Valley of the Wind, and it's to the northeast slopes of the Red Mountain. The entrance to the valley is marked by Aaron's teeth, two tall rock spires. Okay, now Skin of the Pearl. Okay, he says, you mentioned the needle in the Valley of the Wind. I recall at the top of that tall spire is not white, but much lighter than the other rocks nearby. So yeah, we're looking for a tall spire with a lightish rock on the top of it. And then Teeth of the Wind, I believe just is Aaron's teeth. So that's the basics of how we need to get there. I am i don't remember exactly where it is because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I just kind of wandered around until I found something. I wanna say it's in this general area. But you know, we're just gonna wander around and suffer until we inevitably find it. But what is attacking us? Excuse me? Hello? Oh, I see a rat. Really? You followed me all this way? Get out of here. So yeah, this is going to be another travel -y type of episode. We aren't going to like just walk the whole way because I feel like the creatures of Morwen don't take much for us to kill anymore. So we don't need our fatigue as much as we used to. Like, look at that. Simple. Also, that's disgusting. Oh, it's legs. Fun fact, I may have said this before, but I hate bugs. It's interesting that Morrowind is my favorite game whenever I hate bugs and zombies, but you know. Well, I say it's my favorite, but really it goes in between Morrowind and Oblivion and sometimes Skyrim, like a lot on which one's my favorite. Who's attacking me? I don't know, I'm just gonna keep walking. But yeah, I just, honestly, since I've started this playthrough, Morrowind is just like way up there now. I've been having so much fun with this series. Like, it's my favorite series that I've ever done. Oh. That's ominous. Hello. You know, I might try to find the valley this time because the last time I think I cut across, like, right through here. Of course, you guys didn't get to see that. If you see me looking over here a lot, it's because I'm making sure my microphone is still recording because now I'm paranoid. But yeah, I'd like to actually find the valley this time. What is that up there? I mean, those are two tall rock spires. No, we're way over here. That can't be it. We're not even... We need to go this way more. Watch that actually be it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell what rock spires they were talking about because, as you can see, there are a lot of rock spires around here. Not the best way to mark things, but I will know the door whenever I see it. Because obviously I saw it like two weeks ago and even before that I remember what it looked like. This guy's just stuck on a log. Really? You are no threat to us. Not anymore. We used to get mauled by those things like so easily. 
I will say Morrowind, to me, is like the most rewarding of the Elder Scrolls games because you grind so much and it's so hard in the beginning. But then later on, whenever you can just kill something in one hit, it just, oh, it feels so great. <laughs> I feel like I accomplished something in life. Oh, no, I want to avoid the guar. I don't like killing the guar, they're too cute. You don't always have to kill them. Only the wild ones attack you, but I don't enjoy it anyways. What is that? Obviously part of that ruin. Where is this? Is this Kogoron? Yeah, it's Kogoron. We were here recently. I didn't see this thing. It just looks like a a pile of rubble. Interesting. <gasps> please don't tell- please tell me the Netch is not attacking me. Okay, thank god. I would honestly cry if I had to kill a net. They're my favorite! That actually scared me. Thanks, Cliff Racer. Ooh, hello. Not to the Cliff Racer, of course, but there's a Dormer Ruin here. Cool. I wonder if I should approach. A quick save. Slowly approach. I don't know if anything out here wants to mug me, but I kind of fear that that will be the case. I think I've gone too far north, but now I'm curious. Oh no, there's just a guar! I don't want to kill the guar, but it looks like we're gonna have to. I'm sorry, good friend! Oh, my eyes are actually watering at a very convenient time. It's just the contacts, I swear. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to head more south now. But there's been so many hills in the way, like... Just having to jump up on my guess. Oh, there's a Daedric run over there, too. Ooh. That's not the point of the episode! I, I should just probably go... I don't know if I can. Did I go too far? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go through the Daedric Run. Okay. I wanna say that looks like a valley right there, but I don't know. I can't really tell and I can't remember. <gasps> An orc! Hi! Oh! Why? Please don't. Oh gosh, you're powerful. I have no fatigue. Maybe it was important. You know, you know. We have, um, restore fatigue, I'm pretty sure. Just one. Oh gosh. Okay, that's helping us a little bit. Oh, we can level! Oh no, this guy's attacking us now. This was not good. Not good. I did not save before this either. <laughs> Just get rid of this guy first. He's doing most damage. And he has cool armor. Is that workish in Morrowind? I can't remember what it looks like, but I think it might be. Okay, he's down. Hopefully we can get this guy. Yeah. Oh no! He knocked us over! What child has a big two-handed sword? I want to know- what? Why? You are like almost dead. No! Just- <laughs> Why? Stop it! Stop! There, wow. Y'all are rude! Ooh. I, I will take that though and sell it. Now you. Interesting. Very interesting, okay. We are better in heavy armor and this gives us more, sadly, because I really like the way Orcish looks. <sighs> but you know, we need new pauldrons. Or we don't need a left pauldron, we need a right pauldron. We will have one Orcish pauldron to remember this guy by. How we looking, oh yes, very uneven, actually. You know what, just for the looks. <laughs> I don't know if this is dumb. But you know, it'll help us level our medium armor. That is one of our skills, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So it'll help us level overall. And now we're looking a little bit more even. Look at that. No, 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 we can't fight you. We cannot fight you. We are so low. I don't want to lose my pauldrons, man. I don't want to. Oh no, scamp too. Hopefully the scamp can't kill us. What am I doing? I can heal. Kinda, a little. Oh, why? Oh no. Oh no, this isn't good. <laughs> no. Okay, I think we're okay, but the Atronac is catching up. Okay, okay, we're just- just run. Just run and heal. Cliff racers, man! Ah, Leave us alone! Hopefully they can't- like, they're not smart enough to get up the hill. Sneak. Sneak. Oh, nope, it saw us. <laughs> this is intense! I just want to go to sleep. I just want to level. I know I can level. Wait, I keep falling! Get your sword out! Where's my sword? What the heck? Are we safe from the- Actually, we're not, because it's still playing the dramatic music. Where is it, though? Oh, is it just you? Really? I swear if I get killed by cliff racers after calling them easy to fight, 
I don't, I'm like way off over here. Maybe this is where I need to go. I don't know. Oh, that levels your enchant. So that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, we're good now. Okay. Quick save. Oh, I can't believe we actually made it through that. Okay. Let's just sleep until healed. Please, no assassins. Oh, just a quarry. Okay. That's fine. It's whatever. I'm just gonna sleep till day now. Because we do need to level. Come on, let me level. Ugh, that's so annoying. Get out of here. Let me sleep. Please. There we go. You have ascended to level nine. Everything you do is just a bit easier, more instinctive, more satisfying. It is as though you had suddenly developed keen ses senses and interests. Why can't I talk? Senses and instincts. Okay. Ooh, that speed is is tempting, but I think I think we should lay lay low on the speed a little bit. We will get more strength because it's going to give us, you know, extra three. We could dodge and hit better, which is good, and maximum fatigue. And your starting health, health gain per level, and your maximum fatigue. I think that's good. I think those are what we want. They're pretty low anyways, and we don't really need intelligence, so yeah, we'll go with that. Doodler. Dova Kitty's being very talkative right now, I apologize. I mean, those are technically two tall rock spires. Uh, this looks like a valley. There are things here that want to kill us. You know, this could be it. This is pretty promising. I haven't really noticed a tall spire with a lightish rock on top, though. I wonder if there could be any more cliff racers in one given area. Ugh. I want to say I remember this area. I think I came back through here because the episode that I had recorded, I just kind of fell and it was like right there. And it was, it was great. But I did kind of leave through the valley and this, this looks familiar? I want to say if this isn't it, we're at least close. Oh, oh, yep. This is definitely it. Yay, we found it. Okay. So yeah, um, couldn't really tell what the rock spires they were talking about for sure anyways. But yeah, this is the cavern of the incarnate. We do have to wait until dusk because it said the star was the key. It's Azura, obviously. We'll need to wait a little bit. I wonder if six is good? In the dawn <gasps> hour under Azura's star, yes, okay, we did it. Okay, I might get emotional. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. Here we are in the cavern of the incarnate. This big beautiful shrine to Azura or statue, I guess right in the middle and in her hands the moon and star so this would be a huge moment for our little teldrin because the moon and star will kill anybody but nerevar that puts it on nerevar reborn so let's put it on. incarnate your first three Spooky. trials are finished now oh. two new trials lie before you seek the ashlander ashcans and the great house counselors Four tribes must name you Nerevarine. Three houses must name you Hortator. My servant, Nabane Meza, shall be your guide. And when you are Hortator and Nerevarine... This part of the game is actually going to be such a pain. When you before the false gods and freed the heart from its prison, heal my people and restore Morrowind. Do this for me and with my blessing. Uh, I just, I love that so much. Okay. So I don't think that actually equipped it onto us, so we, we need to do that ourselves still. We now have the moon and star, and of course that was Azura talking to us. I'm sure you may have assumed or already known. But yeah, this <laughs> next part of the game is going to take forever from what I remember. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it lasts a few months. But so yeah, our little Teldrin is confirmed. Nervarine, yes, well. He hasn't been named Nerevarine, but... And so now we have all these ghosts around us that we can talk to. These are all the failed, like, Nerevarines. Or I don't know if that's what they call themselves. They say they were not the ones. But yeah, welcome incarnate, moon and star reborn, Hortator, Nerevarine, mourner of the tribe unmourned, redeemer of the false gods. I am Peak Star. I was not the one, but I wait and hope. Ask and I shall answer if wisdom guides me. So we will want to talk to all these guys because they do give us stuff. I don't remember what they gave us, but it doesn't hurt. I am a failed incarnate. That's what they call themselves. Okay. So are all these who remain here with me in the cavern of the incarnate. I survived the blight, but I fell in battle with an ash vampire. I could not master the arts of war, 
nor could I learn the ways of the great houses. They would not have accepted me as Hortator. Take these few poor things. They are of no use to me. So she gave us a belt and some travel-stained pants. Thanks, I hate them. Actually, the pants could come in handy whenever going to see the Telvanni because they do have levitate. So, you know, I think we'll actually put those on. Our gross travel-stained pants that this dead woman just gave to us. But, but okay, thanks. Welcome, Incarnate. I am Anteria. I was not the one, but I wait and hope. I was a holy crusader of the temple in the golden era of the Tribunate. I contributed substantially to the writings that were later suppressed by the temple and now would be called Apocrypha. I followed the tribunal unquestioningly, to my regret. I never believed in the Nerevrim prophecies until it was too late. Take my humble possessions with my blessing. She gave us a book, which might be a skill book, I'm not sure, and a mace. Okay, we don't really use maces, but is the book a skill book? Yes, it was. And also, it's a very interesting read, may I add. I'm not gonna read it right now, but um, you know, if you can see over here, basically Vivek got with Molag Bol and things happened. All right, so let's just talk to Erudan. Erudan? Erudan. I don't sound Texan at all, do I? Erudan? I don't know. I saw Morrowind fall to the Empire. I lived through the humiliation of the surrender, swore hatred and vengeance against Imperial and Tribunal alike for their betrayals. In later years, I despaired and turned to Red Mountain, where I grew old and died fighting the Blight and Red Mountain monsters. Take my weapons and armor. I have no further use for them. Okay, so he gave us a spear and cuirass. Let's see if they're any good. Oh, it's medium armor and it sucks. No wonder you all died. Got bad equipment. Ugh. Why? Came all this way. I am Idrini Nerothan. I lived in the late years of the Tribunate, and behind the scenes I helped us demoralize, then repel the Akaviri invaders. Oh, that's cool. I knew nothing of the Nerevrine or Dagothur until I took refuge with the Ashlanders. I died a fool, trying to loot ruined Kogarun. Here, take these. Maybe there's something in the world left worth stealing? Okay, she gave us a master's lockpick and probe. Like, I'll take them, but... Interesting, thank you. Ooh, this guy has a fun name, Kanun Chodala. Fun. I was an Ashkan. That explains it. Ashlanders have fun names. I led my people against the Akaviri while the Cyrodiil dogs fled before them like Kagudi. I quested deep into the strongholds in Red Mountain, cleansing the unclean things in their own blood. I did not heed the counsel of the women, and to my shame, I craved glory but never saw my real enemies. My axe and boots are yours, with my blessing. Are they good? Probably not. They're light boots. <laughs> I love it. I have not gotten new armor in so long, minus the pauldrons, but we've been stuck on steel for a while. I would appreciate something new. Hortled. His eyebrows are just like out of here too, like tone those down a little. <laughs> I died 400 years ago, dang. In the last days of turmoil and unrest after the Empire came to Morrowind, I was a thinker and not a doer, and though I was marked by the stars, I was not a hero. Take these things of mine, my bones won't complain. Dark. He gave us Sithis and Hortled's robe, which we can actually wear robes over our armor, that's something I really like about Morrowind, but I'm pretty sure we already read Sithis once, but we'll try it again. Yeah, we already read it before, it was a skill book though. But let's see how these robes look. I- mm. I don't know about that. Let me get some better lighting. You know, I'm not not a huge fan. What do they do? That would probably be helpful. Turn undead and shield. I mean, I know we're going to be getting some pretty cool robes later on. I guess we'll deal with the ugly ones. Uh... But yeah, guys, I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and leave it off. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.